What is up my fellow streamers, gamers, and YouTubers? It's the Straight Garbage Gamer here. Thanks for joining me. If you've been following along on a channel, you will know that I recently upgraded my webcam to a C922 Pro Stream webcam by Logitech. And with this cam, it has a feature built into it called background replacement technology and for those of you that do not know what background replacement technology is it is a software that basically acts as a green screen without the green screen now the problem is that with this cam it doesn't tell you how to use this software where to get this software it just says plug it in and it works well let me tell you from experience, it doesn't. It doesn't just, I mean, the cam plugs in and works just fine, but the background replacement technology, mm, no, it doesn't work. You gotta do a bunch of bullshit, jump through some hoops there, bloop, 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 to do this shit, okay? And me, I had to do some digging through the interwebs and figure out where to get this shit, how to get it to work and whatnot. But today, I am gonna save you guys the hassle of dealing with the bullshit, okay? So basically, we're just gonna jump right into it, and I am going to show you guys exactly how and where to get this background replacement technology software and how to get it to work on OBS. And I'm sure I don't I don't use XSplit, which in the package it comes with a three month premium license voucher. So I may try it out, but I'm pretty sure it works basically the same for uh, X split as it does OBS. So, anyways, let's just jump right into it and show us how how we get it. Okay. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna open up your search browser, which in this case is Google's for me, which I'm sure for most of you it is Google also. And in the search bar, you're going to want to type in ChromaCam.me. Bam. Okay. Did I fucking spell it wrong? No, okay, here we go. Yeah, and you'll want to go to chromacam.me, remove your background without a green screen, and click on that there. I said click on that there. Thank you. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is going to bring you to this page right here. And basically what you're going to do is just hit the download, because it is a free download, so you just click download. And if you guys are computer smart or which I'm sure you are if you're trying to figure out this background replacement technology stuff and things basically you download it little pot thing pops up down here say it's downloading blah 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 once it's done downloading you know open it install it agree to the terms and service and all that happy horse shit la di da di da di da same thing as installing anything else and basically just download it install it and it'll automatically add a special feature to your OBS and I'm sure it does XSplit as well and basically what that is is the chroma cam okay so after you get it downloaded and installed get out of this stupid browser open up your OBS XSplit whatever la di da di da and you're going to want to go and add your video capture device, which in my case here, I'll just go to uh, properties and change. You're gonna open it up like so. And instead of clicking on the 922 Pro Stream webcam, you're gonna want to click on Chroma Cam, which mother fucker, why did I? Oh my god, I did it again. It fucking did it again, this motherfucking piece of shit. Let me tell you what. Oh my, you're you're pissing me off. This, I'm I'm gonna tell you when you're trying to record it and show a motherfucker how to use this technology. I can tell you one thing. The shit will piss you the fuck off. Oh fucking fuck my life. Not what I wanted to do, dummy. Hold on, let me fix this again. Oh my god. Uh. 
Because this is what I'll do when you're trying to record something. You want to open this shit up before you even start recording. Because when you're recording, it's going to do dumb shit like this. And let me tell you, it'll piss you off. Because any other time, this little box right here. This little box right here will just automatically pop up and it'll be ready to go. And it'll just be ready. This, this, this little box right here is what runs this whole deal like as you can see my background is no more you know and it's pretty cool right it's, it's cool but for some reason i'm not sure why the fuck this shit never loads when when i'm recording so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop recording get this thing and to fucking open for me back. and then i will bring you guys finally back. got this stupid ass fucking thing to work okay like I said, if you want to use this feature, definitely get it all set up before you're recording. Because if you try to do it while you're recording, it'll just go loading, 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 loading. And it just won't ever fucking load. And I don't know why. But when you're not recording, it just goes boop. It pops right up. And here it is. This is it. This is where it's at. It's what it does. Blah. That's it. No. Not now. What the fuck ever. You're a piece of shit. You're pissing me the fuck off. But anywho's. Okay, basically, this is how it, this is what brings it up, okay? And this right here, this first box, is to replace your current background. And you can have other backgrounds. I'm not sure what the green screen is for. Perhaps you can make some other shit. And you can see it kind of fucks up. You got to have the right lighting for this to work 100% great. I mean, I have lights here, lights here, lights fucking everywhere. And it still does a little bit of artifacting, which... I've read some things that says that you can fix it so where it doesn't do that, but I haven't been able to do that. But if I sit back in my chair, you know, it's not, it's, it, it just does just different shit, you see? Like, if I'm sitting here doing this like this and I'm playing a game, it's going to be okay, you know? It's just like I have a green screen behind me when I really don't, right? Okay. But since I'm all up close and, you know, I'm trying to do shit here and there, this and that, it just does dumb shit. But you can pick different backgrounds. Like you can see here, I got a little office behind me. Or you got some stupid shit or some little bubbles or chat bubbles. Or I'm over in Cali or Nevada or something on a Ferris wheel, blah, 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 brick walls. They just added that. This wasn't there. They they must have updated it yet since yesterday because this one wasn't here yesterday. But whatever. Anyways, so you can pick what background you want. You can also add any background that you choose. Let me see if... Let me see. Let me see. I need to see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, see? I'm straight garbage. That's the straight... Oh, why the... Okay. Almost fucked up there. Thank God it just brings it down to the bottom. But yeah, you can have any background you want. You can make your own. Do whatever you want, you know. And, uh... But I basically just use this one because I play video games. And when I'm streaming and whatnot, I just want the video game in there. I don't want my bedroom background, you know, all up in my background. Um... This also works for uh, PowerPoint presentations. You know, you basically, if you have a PowerPoint presentation, you'll load your PowerPoint present presentation, and then your PowerPoint presentation can be behind you, and you can be like this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Hey, look at me. The, the, the factor of this 85% of people love balls on their chin. I don't know, something. And you can have all sorts of different things for business application so i mean this this just doesn't apply to you know streaming video games it, it, you can do whatever you want okay um now they there is a pro version of this which i mean i don't know how much it costs but it says right down here at the bottom upgrade to pro um i'm not sure how much it is but basically, you could have your logo, 
or whatever it is that you, you know, your logo or whatever, you can have it in the background of your your video. See, like I could be like this and I could be streaming and my logo would be in there, which, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess, if you're trying to promote yourself or whatnot. But this right here is basically a feature for the pro, which is whatever. I mean, it, you know, every other damn thing just wants to... What the fuck did I do? Everything else just basically wants to nickel and dime you to death, as usual. That's what everything does, right? Just nickel and dime, nickel and dime, nickel and dime. Why? The fuck did... What did I do? I don't know what the hell I did there, but anyway. Yeah, that's a that's the version for the pro upgrade. I'm not sure how much it costs. We'll get in we'll we'll check it out here in a second once I show you the rest of the things that's going on. And basically um the settings area just has the language asks what camera you want to use, which is basically the 922. And then there's an option to show the background, not show the background. See, so you can switch it on and off, switch it on and off, basically like that. And it has a bit of backlight correction, which for some reason is not working. Why is it not working? Hmm. I don't know. It's just not working for some reason, but it is what it is. But yeah, basically, that's about it in a nutshell. Um, not th can't think of anything else really that you need to know. Um, basically, the lighting is real important with this. Uh, contrast between what you're wearing and your background has a lot to do with how well um, the background replacement technology works, like, say, I was wearing a black shirt, and I got this black chair behind me, and my walls were black, well, it's not gonna fucking see you very good, obviously, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, contrast, lighting, and that's basically all you need to know to have a, a, a pretty good quality background replacement deal. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna check into this right here, let's, let's check into how much it is to upgrade look the upgrade pro custom water custom backgrounds no watermarks powerpoint slides and custom logos how much is it let's see how much it is how much is it thirty dollars it is thirty fucking dollars that's ridiculous for basically pfft, not a whole lot Okay, well, let's just be real. It's it's not really a, a whole lot. Because, I mean, I'm not going to use it for PowerPoint presentations because I'm not a businessman. And as far as logos go, I mean, who gives a shit? I mean, I got a logo right over here. I can put a logo anywhere in my video. I can put a logo in my broadcasting software. So suck a dick. I don't, I don't need to pay you $30 to do that for me. But... Yeah, basically, but that's it, guys. That's where you get the uh, background replacement technology, the Chroma Cam. That's how you use it. Um, like I said, I don't use XSplit. I'm sure it's pretty similar to the same thing. Mm, other than that, you know, that's about it. There you guys go. That's how you use it. I mean, that's. I hope it helps. You know, me, I had to do some digging for it. Hopefully, this saves you from doing some digging because... Logitech, put instructions in the box, please. People need to know how to use the technology that you say your camera has, okay? So thank you, Logitech. Just do us all a favor. Make us not search the fucking internet for the answers to these questions. Just put it in the damn box. But thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you found this very helpful. I know I'm a piece of shit. Straight garbage. I wouldn't be the straight garbage gamer if I wasn't. But, you know what? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help a brother out. Hit the like button. You know, it always helps too. And as always, straight garbage gamer. Peace.